What's going on everybody? It's me Shane Ball, otherwise known as the Couch Cook, and today we're going to make Croque Monsieur, a French classic. Now don't <laughs> Now don't butcher me over that pronunciation. I'm Canadian, <laughs> but not French Canadian. Let's go. <laughs> Croque Monsieur, an absolute French classic, aka ham and cheese on steroids. We're going to start out by making a Mornay sauce, which is a classic bechamel with a little bit of a twist. So get one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of flour, along with a quarter cup of heavy cream and three quarters of a cup of whole milk, along with a quarter cup of Parmigiano Reggiano, three quarters of a cup of Emmental cheese or Gruyere or Comte, something low moisture, along with one egg yolk, just one egg yolk, along with kosher salt, and of course, some black pepper. And that is all we'll need to make our Mornay sauce, which we're gonna make right now. We're gonna start out by melting the butter. And once it is melted and bubbling away, you're going to add in your flour in smaller increments until it all comes together in one homogenous glue. This is known as a roux. This will help thicken our Mornay sauce and make it nice and saucy. Once your flour and butter have come together nicely in increments, add in your whole milk, just a little bit at a time so that it gets emulsified evenly and that you don't get chunky floury bits in your sauce. So I did this in about four to five increments. I don't remember exactly. Once the sauce is boiling like this and nice and thick, it is time to add in your Parmigiano Reggiano. Add it in, stir it up and make sure it is melted into the sauce. Now that you've added in the Parmigiano Reggiano and it's melted into the sauce, it's time to add in your cream and make sure it is thoroughly whisked together. At that point, kill the heat and add in your Emmental cheese and make sure again that it is very well melted. Once it's melted in, you can add in your egg yolk make sure the heat is off. If it is too hot, it will scramble this egg. So make sure it's not too hot. Season it up with a little salt and pepper to your liking, to your taste. Trust your judgment. Stir it up together and try not to eat it all at this stage because it is so good. But once it hits that perfect flavor and consistency like this, it's time to transfer it into a mixing bowl and cover it up directly onto the surface of the sauce with some cling film to prevent a skin from forming on the top. Now it's time to get the rest of the ingredients together, starting with two slices of bread, thick slices like sourdough or country bread or brioche, along with five ounces of ham, about a teaspoon and a half of Dijon mustard, two ounces of Gruyere or Appenzeller cheese, one whole egg because this is going to become a croque madame and some paprika. Okay, let's go. We're going to put this together now, starting by toasting the bread with some butter in a pan or toast it however you like. I like to toast it in a pan with butter, not in a toaster or in a broiler. And then I watch it like this. I might look at some memes on Instagram, watch some TikToks, think about how funny I'm not or am. And uh, and now it's time to get going. Okay, I look like we're pretty close here. That's what we're looking for, a nice toast. Don't get it too toasted because it will burn once we bake it in the oven. But now it's time to assemble the bad boy. Put the lesser toasted side down onto the baking sheet of one slice of bread and then spread about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of Mornay sauce. Be generous. Don't cheap out here. Life deserves a lot of Mornay sauce. And then layer your ham on top of that Mornay sauce. Be generous. This sandwich is all about being excessive. On top of the ham, add in your Dijon mustard, and then you're gonna take half of your grated Gruyere or Appenzeller cheese, lay it on top of the ham and mustard, and then take that top slice of bread. On the underside of it, you're gonna put more Mornay sauce on, okay? And then more Mornay sauce on the top. And again, another couple tablespoons of that. Be generous, there's lots of room for Mornay sauce here, but we're not done yet. We're going to add a little bit more or all of the remaining Gruyere Appenzeller cheese. And it's time to bake this 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. And while that is baking, we're going to fry the egg to make this a croque madame. That's the only difference between a croque monsieur and a croque madame. 
a fried egg on the top changes this entire dish. Now, if you don't like eggs, which I don't understand why you wouldn't, you don't have to do this and you just enjoy your croque monsieur. But if you want to elevate the game, you got to do it this way. So fry that egg in some olive oil, baste the egg whites so you don't cook the egg yolk any more than it needs to be and the egg white gets nice and crispy like this dust that paprika on the top and then serve it on the top of that croque monsieur like this just look we're gonna slice this now i mean food like this is the reason why those french are always in love there we are people this is what it's all about everyone that's it that is exactly how you make croque monsieur or if you're adding the egg croque madame now this is a perfect way to use all of that leftover holiday ham that you may have that you don't know what to do with other than like that terrible split pea soup your grandma made from the 1900s so try this you won't regret it i promise now, if you like what you saw or if you learned anything today, please hit that like button and please, please hit that subscribe button. That's it for today. I'm Shane Ball, otherwise known as The Couch Cook, and I'm out of here.